Hi you guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to show you how I typically prune and trellis my tomatoes. I have kind of been neglecting my tomatoes a little bit and I haven't been doing such a great job at getting them trellised and staying on top of that as I normally would and they have been growing so quickly. So I'm spending all of today trying to get out here and trellis all of my tomatoes and do any sort of pruning and any sort of pinching off of suckers just to make sure that there is airflow between my tomatoes to print any sort of disease, to see if I find any tomato hornworms or any sort of other worms that are eating my plants and just make sure that everything is looking good and staying on top of taking care of my tomatoes. So some of the things that I look for when I am pruning my tomatoes is discoloration of leaves, something that looks kind of sickly or not good. I don't want that to spread to other plants or spread further on the tomato plant itself. I will um, pinch off any suckers that I see because I try <laughs> to make it just one main stem. However, some of mine got a little away from me and kind of branched off into two, but I've been at least keeping it to just the two stems. I don't want them to get uh, too wild, so I go through and pinch off any suckers and I will show you what those are in just a moment. And then I also look for just any sort of worms or anything and then I tie it up to my trellis. So how I trellis my tomatoes is I use T-posts, which are fence posts, and I drive those into the ground and then I used a steel welded, it's like 14 gauge wire, and I attach those with zip ties to my T-post. So I end up tying up, planting my tomatoes at the bottom and then tying them up to the trellis. So. In their natural habitat, tomatoes are typically a sprawling sort of, they like to crawl and sprawl along the ground and they have little kind of fuzzy uh, things all along the stem of the tomatoes. So they'll put off roots to try to keep continue and growing across the ground. So growing up tomatoes is unnatural for how they typically like to be grown. So you have to keep that in mind when you're growing tomatoes and just know that that's not naturally how they grow and you're training them to do something that they wouldn't normally do in nature. However, we do this so that the awesome and delicious tomatoes don't get rotten and eaten by bugs and stay rotten on the ground. So it makes it easier for us to harvest and keep nice, beautiful, delicious tomatoes. So don't mind all the bolting lettuce, but this is how I typically trellis my tomatoes. These ones I have just pruned and finished trellising up. So there is lots of beautiful, delicious looking tomatoes on all these. And there is lots of airflow in between the tomatoes. Now I would have planted them a little bit further apart had I realized that they were going to be getting past me and splitting off into two, but still I would plant, you know, kind of close and typically would just keep it one stem like this one's one stem. And then you get plenty of airflow on the tomatoes. I do not plant on both sides. I have in the past um, and it's worked out okay, but I think for providing the proper airflow and letting them have enough nutrition, it's better to give them more space and not plant on both sides of the trellis. Look how beautiful. Lots of little cherries. Big, beautiful delicious tomatoes. So as I go through, I kind of just put everything in the aisle and then I come back and pick it up at the end. So this one is another trellis that has already been pruned. Look at all of these tomatoes, you guys. I'm, I'm telling you, they have just grown so well this year. This is a trellis that I have not pruned or attached yet. You can see everything is falling over. Um, there are a lot of suckers trying to take off. So this is a sucker right here. They grow kind of in the, mm, I guess, corner or armpit of the stems. And you can just pull them off or if they're a little bit bigger, you can just cut them off with some shears. And so I pull 
all of these off and I check every one and take these off. I also will prune off any sort of lower stems. You can see I've already pruned off here, so I see some worms right there because it keeps from when it rains any sort of splash back from the soil that could kind of um, harm the leaves and cause some disease. So I always keep the lower leaves kind of trimmed off and I check for um, anything that's kind of getting eaten. So this one right here, I can tell it's got, I don't know if you can see that, but a ton of worms on it. Oh, I wish it could get focused. I don't know why it's not focusing. But this has a ton of worms. It's very eaten. That is not staying on my plants because they will demolish my tomatoes. What I do is I just cut off pieces of twine and tie up my tomatoes to the trellis with the twine. So I prune everything, make sure they're looking good, and then I tie them up. Once I tie them up, I look and see if some of the leaves are kind of more touching each other or um, just look a little bit too close, and then I will send them out further and make sure that there is still more airflow in between the tomatoes um, and that not too many cross over between limbs and that there's still some good air circulation in between all the tomatoes. I also make sure to take care as I'm tying up the tomatoes to the trellis that if it already has tomatoes setting fruit that I carefully push them either through the other side of the trellis or um, just try to make sure that I'm not knocking off any tomatoes in this process because I um, it's very delicate like you see here's one that already got knocked off just now um, so just be careful when you're trellising them up if it's already have fruit that, that you keep in mind that you could kind of accidentally take off tomatoes so just be gentle as you're going throughout the process now here's an example of some kind of sickly looking leaves I don't know if it's from kind of just you know what is causing this but I know that I certainly if it's something that is spreads I don't want it to spread to my other tomatoes. This is the only one that's looking kind of sick so far. Um, so I'm gonna cut off these stems that look sick. Now it is still pretty early in the season here in Florida. So I do get an earlier start than most other places because I can start growing things early here because we can pretty much grow year round. So my tomatoes are already way further along than it will be in any sort of mid to northern places in the U.S. right now. So even so, it is still pretty early for it to be really sickly looking. I usually don't start seeing sickness until maybe about June, um, early July. So for me, if it starts to get too sick looking, I would probably consider about taking out this plant so to make sure that it doesn't pass anything on to any of my other tomato plants because I don't see any signs of sickness on any other tomatoes at this point. Another thing to keep in mind, which I probably need to do now that I've just pruned that, is to make sure that if you do have one that's sickly looking and probably has disease, to make sure that you're cleaning off your shears before moving on to the next plant because you could pass it on to your next plant simply by pruning it with shears that were already pruning the infected plant. So I'm gonna go inside very quick and make sure I wash off my shears um, before I continue pruning any more plants. Okay, so something else I have been experiencing this year that I have not experienced in years past is the tomato continuing to grow from where it set fruit. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but I have not. And so I will also, because then I would have to trellis up this as well, I've been pruning off right after it sets fruits so that it doesn't continue to keep setting fruit and keep growing along this because that's gonna be hard and mess up my trellis. So last thing I'll say is that once they kind of reach the top of the trellis, I will top them so that they can no longer keep growing above there because they don't have anywhere else to go. And then from there, I'll kind of just let them, the suckers kind of branch out and they end up getting a little wild after that point. And at that point, I don't care because everything else is growing and starting to ripen usually and um, I'll stay on it a little bit, but I don't get overly picky. And that's just my personal preference so that I don't lose my mind trying to stay on top of the tomatoes.
guys, that is it for me today. That is how I prune and trellis my tomatoes. It's pretty simple and low fuss. And honestly, it's my favorite way to grow my tomatoes. And I hope that you give it a try. And I hope this helps you to grow your own large and beautiful tomatoes this season. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you next time. Bye you guys. Also, look at these tomato fingers pretty rough. This is what you get when you prune and trellis a lot of tomatoes, so don't be surprised.